you know, Ole and Lena have been married for a while and Ole's been hitting the bars and neglecting his husbandly duties, if you get my drift, and I think you do. Um, Taking out the garlic. <laughs> yeah, you betcha. Anyway, Lena's been getting some aid and comfort from Ole's best friend, Sven. Yeah, and they're up there in, the, in Ole and Lena's room, and having the hoopla and making the whoopie. And Ole comes home from the bar early that night, and Sven is saying, Oh no, Lena, Ole's come home from the bar. I put a high tail it out of the window. Oh no, Sven, Ole, he's going to be so drunk, he's not even going to notice you're here. You just stay right there in the bed where you are and finish out the night, eh? <laughs> well, Ole comes up, and he's had about 30 beers at the bar, you know. He just flops right <laughs> into bed, and he passes right out, and then he wakes up in about 20 minutes. If he had about 30 beers, you know why. Yeah. Um, but he's sort of looking at, his, at the feet down there, and he's like, Lena, wake up here. There's too many feet in this bed. There ought to be four feet in this bed, and there's six feet in this bed. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's too many feet in this bed. Holy, holy, you are so drunk, you don't even know what the heck you're seeing. Holy, you get out of this bed and go around to the foot of that bed and you count them feet again. <laughs> One, two, three, four. God damn it, you're right again, Lena. <laughs> All right, well, about seven or eight years ago, maybe even more than that now, there was a headline on the Chicago Onion that said, Baby Boomer Die Off Begins at Last! And that was funny at the time. <laughs> and as, as the years have gone by, it's gotten less funny as more and more of us baby boomers go to that great sing around in the sky. So this is definitely not a song about there getting to be more of us, but in many cases, those of us who have stayed on this earthly plane, there's gotten to be more of us. And because of that, the clothing manufacturers have had to come up with euphemistic terms for all that extra fabric they need to put in our clothes. Vanity sizing. And our favorite of those terms is relaxed fit. And uh, somehow or other, I don't know how this happened, it sort of turned into a love song. <laughs> Just like Alice, you know, the path flipping and taking her back into the house when she was walking away. She used to dress in brazen brass halters, all along the very tight required jeans. She wore a pitsy, pitsy, teeny, weeny, fringed bikini and the shortest mini skirts you've ever seen. Underwear? <laughs> now what she wears is reinforced with railbone. Spandex keeps her out a little at bay. That bathing suit so smarty, that the salvation army, and she hopes those baggy trousers will disguise her derriere. Shop, we always have fun. 
They hung out in those psychedelic bars. They'd stay out half the night, rent and drink and get me tight, then come home at two and make blood until four. That's right. Well, actually, in the morning, dear. <laughs> Shop, we always look for me.